Okay, now this was the most interesting game of the day in any, in any, in, so I want to show the whole game because we have to kill a lot of time. No eating in the tournament room. Okay. <laughs> he got you there. All right. So, <laughs> so watch this game, Spence. Did you see any of this? No. This game was crazy like well, Fox News. I did, actually. This is Vidit Durabiali. Okay, they play exchange Slav. A6, 95. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've seen this So before. Anand was opining that in this position, he wasn't a big fan of what Durabiali did. But you have to remember, Anand isn't being objective because he's like, go Indian guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, all right. So he didn't like this particularly. And then he went back. He played pretty quickly, yeah. right? Did she spill everything? No, she just dropped her fork. Oh, yeah. And then, and then A3, Anand was like, why do you play A3 instead of like, you know, some move that stops this, like H3? And he was thinking that black would just play e6 and a5 and, Bishop and just just play normally, yeah, instead yeah. of what he did, because here he played knight g4. What is the point of a3 actually? Well, you stop bishop b4 forever, okay. And maybe you even want to play knight here, pawn here, knight here, and stop like c5. But to be honest with you, I'm I'm not playing. I'm not. I mean, playing you could have played knight a4 without a3. Right, I'm not playing. I'm not. I'm not playing a3. I don't like that move. It's like an exchange Slav move. He just played it for yeah. that reason. Yeah. <laughs> so so look, look look at this. So he played okay. E5, and then Ananda was like, well, what does he do against H3? And they analyzed it, and they concluded F6 was forced. So Ananda thought maybe E3 was better. He wasn't sure, but he did play H3. Uh -huh. And they first looked at this. F6 is forced, according and then, to the Yeah, and then he did play F6. Yeah. yeah. And then takes takes. You know it's a tough position yeah. when you have to play F6. Right. So this is this position is just totally nuts. This, this looks equal. like the game Archer versus Archer. Oh, yeah. Archer open. Yeah, remember when Archer played himself and they got this position? No. Man. Would Archer want white or black here? I think he went black. I'd like to have black because two bishops. What else? Yeah. yeah, this position don't make no sense. Yeah. Now, if Karen had this position, she would ask for a recount. She'd be like, well, what's going on here? She'd ask to stop the count. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she'd be like, what kind of position is yeah, this? Yeah, this pawn structure makes no sense. Yeah, that's how loves that. Yeah. yeah okay, totally. so rook b8, the engine move. Knight d1, x b4. b4. Pretty good. Pretty normal move. a5. Always play a5. b5. Also the engine move. d4. Now Karen's happy because the position. No, now she's like, well, what? this is even crazier. Okay, knight e4. Now the engine actually wants to take with the queen. Oh, well, that's changing its mind. It's too hard. It does like queen. It says this is equal also. Yeah. How can this? See, now, occasionally, you might not remember, because it's so occasional, I will rant. So they probably don't remember because I hardly ever do it. Mm -hmm. And one of the rants I say often is... Chess isn't boring, and all the games are draws, and we have to do something about it. The only thing to do about it is to not invite those players. I That's what you have to do about this, it. Actually. Okay, I was there was a fifty-player chess tournament in here, and none of the games were boring except Spencer's last round, <laughs> right. Be because you know everybody hangs everything and makes illegal moves and doesn't know whose turn it is and thinks people are walking too loud. Okay, <laughs> you, I mean it's not boring. Okay, at the top level. When, you know, Rajabov's playing, he tries to make the game boring. Mm -hmm. And certain other people, who we won't mention. And if you don't want to make the game boring and just want to play, then, then it's not boring. So chess doesn't have to be boring. There can be decisive games everywhere. And if the players are like, oh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to win. Draw. That's better. Mustachiola says those flip-flops were driving me crazy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong. Karen eating? Indian food. Yeah, goal B65. So one day, we were all going to go out to eat, and then I found an Indian restaurant we never went to, and it's the best, Jerry, the best. They even have Coke, so Karen likes it. All right. Now, H6, double question mark. The engine says after B4, black is slightly better. Okay. Doesn't I mean, like H6. B4 looks like a useful yeah. move. Queen F4, double question mark. It says knight d6 is close to winning. So is it, what is it, queen g7 after bishop b6? Yeah. Well, after, no, it's actually queen here check. Ah, but interference. After, see, queen takes is a movie, a movie I'd be scared of, but the h-pawn's pinned. 
Right. So that's actually the second best engine move too. Right. Yeah. Okay. So bishop d6 is forced. Yeah. Right. Queen g7 is also good for white, but this is better. Right. Now you have to play king f8. Otherwise, totally. it's totally. getting getting better totally. all the time. Yeah. And now, I mean, I like white too because what, what's this? Yeah, me? that didn't work out well that, for that's, black. That's no good. What's that? So h6 is a ridiculous move because you know this is pinned. And there's some extra options, and it weakens g6. And b4, like, leaves the pawns here where they're protecting everything. So, Okay, so h6 question mark. He didn't see or understand knight d6 right, as right, much right. as he should have, which is weird because it's a slow game. So, like, I mean, takes. Even here is good. Yeah, even there was good. Okay, so he played here, and then, you know, now they just, it's this, it, the black has a good position because I think h6, queen f4 helped him. Yeah. Still knight d6 is right. But he played g3. Finally, b4. Mm -hmm. All right. And now, you know, black's looking good. Oh, now he played knight d6 when it was bad. When it was bad, yeah, because, man, that pawn was getting serious. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he was mm -hmm. playing in the beginning, mm -hmm. though. <laughs> yeah. Okay, castles is forced, I guess. Yeah. Rook, rook f8's good. So here the engine says black is winning. And black actually did end up winning a piece eventually. That's actually the best move. d7 is the best move. And then after take it, just playing a random legal move like e3. What? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that makes more sense. Rook bd1. Hey, bowler. Bishop a2, because he was in a hurry. Actually, the engine likes this more, which nobody would ever play. And that likes bishop a2. That's what yeah, I Yeah, that's play. a normal yeah. move. d7. Now, this is why, in this position, the engine plays d7. Okay. After bishop takes, you can't play bishop a2. Deflection. It's, it's trying to, like, hey, don't you know, look at my pawn. Distraction. Yeah. Okay. King g8. Good. Queen g6. These moves are all reasonable. This is too hard to play. Right. Yeah. Now this move's oh. hard to find. The engine move. Oh, that rookie six is good. This yeah. is the first engine move. It it's changes the same mind. idea. It it's changes its mind. Idea, yeah. yeah. Queen you gotta g6. attack the queen so he can't just promote. Yeah. You can take the queen. Though. Queen h5. Traded queens or no? Yeah. Rook d8. Yeah. yeah rook d6 is better. Okay. Because you defend this. Ah, I didn't see that. And then that. you could play rook b8. Yeah, he played rook d8. I guess he wanted rook takes e2. Right. That's what I wanted. Right, and here's the thing. And I don't care you, about this because he can queen. Right, that's probably why he played rook d8. But there's bishop d5 at you the end. You take and bishop yeah, yeah, d5 yeah, yeah. and you have good drawing chances. I get yeah. It. Yeah, he pro but, but rook d6 is just the same. Stops all Except that. it stops that, right. And so who this, cares about e2? This move is winning. Right. Yeah. And after this, Vidin found the only way, which I was to take. Okay, so in this position, <laughs> yeah. here's what's going on. It looks like white can't play rook takes d4 because I queen. Okay. Okay, so he played rook d8, and he's like, well, you won't play rook takes d4 because I'll queen. However, he did play rook takes d4, which was correct. If he had played rook d6 instead, you can't play rook takes d4. He defended it. So it's just the same as rook d8, except it stops rook takes d4, which black thought wasn't good, but he was wrong. And I'll show you why he was wrong. So he did play this. He did queen. And then we have bishop d5 at the end. And even though black is up a piece, white has 5,000 pawns. Mm -hmm. So it's close to a draw. It's not clear if it's a draw or a win. Yeah. So this may be a draw. It may be a win. But he did not win it. Mm. I'm not saying it wasn't winning. But, you know, I don't... Oh, okay. The engine says 1.11. 1. 1. Well, that's not helping. I me. would glean that that's you know, a draw, it's a draw. Right? Yeah. 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 That's totally. a lot of pawns. Now, the gawking rabble in the chat, right, and I haven't looked at the chat, but I know you guys, you're like, why isn't white better? White has three pawns for a piece. That's probably what they're saying. Yeah. No, come on. They yeah. know it's a bishop. No, 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 no they don't <laughs> they know. They know about that. bishop. No, no, they'll take white all day. Yeah. They like three pawns for a piece. Yeah. It's easy to trade pawns for white, too. I mean, the g5 pawn break is going to be. I thought white, black might win because it's the right color. That's all I cared about. Yeah, that's true, Yeah, actually. Okay. So, the Black didn't really get anywhere. I mean, he didn't, nothing happened. It was like the Blair Witch Project. And White just didn't do anything. That's also a way to play, yeah. Okay, well, now it's no nope. serious chance to right, win. And then that. they agreed to a draw. But he didn't even get any winning chances. At all. Right, right. He got nothing. Yeah. But, but one thing I want to say... You can say, well, Zerbiali was winning, and then you pronounced his name wrong, <laughs> then you pronounced Vidit's name wrong, and then, okay. But actually, more important than pronouncing their names 
is when guys are losing or have bad positions, they set a lot of problems for their opponents, mm -hmm. like rook d4 and bishop d5. And so a lot of times 2700s who are losing don't lose, and not because their opponent didn't play well, because they made their opponent not play well. They were sending them a lot of issues. And if you're losing your game, which you are, okay, even if you're not playing, you're probably still losing. And then you lose, you're like, well, yeah, I was losing. The engine said that he was plus three. We played 20 more moves. He was plus five, and I resigned. And you're like, yeah, that's fine. But if a 2,700 player's opponent's plus three, they do everything they can to lower that number, so it's, you know, they, they try to fight. And sometimes when you're losing, you just sort of mentally give up. The guy's winning a piece. The guy's queening his B2 pawn. You know, I'm white. I'm higher rated. And the guy's outplaying me. It, but that's, the 2,700 players don't do that. I mean, Vinit was definitely worse in his first game with Jeffrey that he won. He's probably slightly worse in the second game, but he won that too. And Shanklin's always worse, but he draws and wins every game. Shanklin hasn't uh, lost a game. Shanklin's pretty tough. Yeah. I mean, and I don't think Spivler has too. He's tough. Yeah.